If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Alright. Um, hello everybody, my name is Sean and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. Uh, it has been a very long time since I played this, so forgive me for having no idea what the buttons are again. Um, there we go. Okay, I knew there was a button for this. Hi. But, uh, yeah, if I remember, I preferred it in first person. So... I'm guessing I need to go dress up, which I remember there was a button, or there was a place to do that. Was this it? No, this was it. This was, it. It was the other one. And I just... Yeah. Ah! Uh, here. Okay. So, Sailor's outfit, I'm guessing. Um... Do, 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 do. Where is the thing? A band that's a bandit outfit? Okay, sure. Morning gown, as you do. Sailor outfit. I remember there was a, a, a that was the outfit I liked. The unbuttoned suit. I don't like buttons, I don't like ties. I, I like yeah. Alright, so sailor outfit. Awesome. Okay, and B to the makeup table. Do I need a makeup? Uh hair and hat. Um I'm gonna shave my head for it. It's the best plan. Um. Yes. Alright, that's a good hat. I like that hat. Eh, sailors wouldn't really have hats, though, would they? Let's get rid of that facial hair. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. 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 You know what? Sure. That's what, that's what we're gonna go out there now and look at. I can approach cans. And see if he recognizes the pouch. Well done. Well done. Do I actually... Uh, what was the button? That was the button. Oh my, don't I look sexy. Okay, so... Let me let me talk to Watson. Watson! Good gracious, you caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, see what's the pub. Gotta go see this guy, because I remember correctly, we were looking for a harpoon. We did the test, launched the harpoon through a pig carcass to see who could, if it was, if, how strong you'd have to be to actually successfully pin something to the wall. Um, because someone did that, uh, to the one sailor, or he was, he was a sailor. Um. Sir. Madam. Are you a madam? Madam. Patrick Cup. I'm curious about this man back here. Why is there just fish bones all over the place? Hey, buddy. See what you got. Wow, look at that beard. Those earrings. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort. And I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. All right, let's do it. Okay. Uh, follow Patrick Cairns' facial expression to understand his moves. Push, restrain, idle, and plan your counter strategy. Pay your attention. Okay. All right. Okay. Alright, let me... Go! Okay, restraining takes a lot less stamina than pushing. Alright, come on, buddy, come on! Okay, I can, I can beat this in. I can beat this guy. Let me regain my stamina. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. Nope, we're done for. Okay, I'm out of stamina. Give me a second, boy. Nope. Okay. Give me a second. Mm. 
Nope, nope, no, not today, not today. Okay. And go. What am I supposed to do it past this point? There's just points where I'll be pushing and just nothing happens. Not today. Okay, okay. Progress, progress, progress. Push! No, no, stop. And stamina and push. Okay, nothing's happening. Okay, that part I don't understand because when I'm restraining, he'll still make some progress. No, okay. He's relaxed. Go. Okay, and wait. And wait. And go. This is taking forever. <laughs> I win. <sighs> there is. I've arm wrestled a lot of people. It's either a bam, you struggle for a while. Good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. Oh, I thank you. We'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. Let's do this. And those drinks just magically appear. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Hmm. Why oh, do you I need say poor? Profile. You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. Hmm. Yeah, let me, let me, let me stare at you. Let me look at you. Mm. Okay. Gold earring. Uh, oh, yeah, that was the thing. Okay. Hands, she clothes. So there's the two yellow nails. Okay, I don't remember what yellow nails mean. A harpooner, interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course, it's been a dozen years since I sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter. Great Roger, we sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, a violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. He was a tyrant, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes, I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Go on. Another drink. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her. And he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she'd foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. 
During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Close the pouch in Karn's pocket and determine if the pouch is his. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'll go back to talking. That was the fastest bathroom trip the world has ever seen. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, uh... Oh, it is! Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I. I'm done here. It's time to leave. <laughs> I really want him just to be talking like that, just out loud, just be like, I'm done here now. Like, after having the thick accent, just suddenly it's like, I'm done. Bye now. Show you. Uh, where is it going? Next street. I think. Um. Okay, find a use. A piece of stock exchange to convert belonging to the Camden Pacific Railway. It's gone inside the Pacific Railway. Office. Okay, that I'm. Okay, let's talk to Watson. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? It's possible. I know he hates him. I can tell that. But at the same time, it doesn't seem likely. My archive. I can always cons. This is where I keep my po. My archive. I can always consult okay, with Okay, so where where do I go? Where are you doing? Okay. Rescue the murder. Uh, John Nelligan seems not a usual thing. What is his role in this? Nelligan. John Nelligan, let's see. Okay, so I think I might have to go talk to John Nelligan back at Scotland Yard. Let me look at the picture of this thing. Um... That. Uh, Cairns has confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he has he was at the scene of the murder, but does not necessarily prove that he is the murderer. Cairns has confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder and thus proves his guilt. I don't know. It kind of does, but not really. It doesn't prove his guilt, but it does prove he was there. I'll do that at least. Okay. doing here I've done nothing wrong but, but how am I what am I doing here I've done nothing wrong mr. Holmes mr. Holmes I'm not saying another word right. um
Okay. Uh, another stranger who was arrested by the police station as a suspicious individual seen prowling around at night near Wood. Lee. He's a former soldier who left the military with an honorable discharge after having been wounded in the neck by shrapnel. Now he lives a quiet life working as a gardener. Okay, so now what the hell do I do? Uh, okay. I am not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I'm, uh, Do I maybe need to go talk to the inspector? So the policeman. I don't see the inspector. Is there an inspector? Oh my I it just Ah! Hi. Okay, um These are the suspect's belongings. Alright, maybe there's something here. A handkerchief with the initials J H N. Okay. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Yeah. I wonder if these are connected. Okay. CPR. Now we have the yeah. proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Okay. So that's something. Now what? Sunset should. Uh, Okay. Maybe do I need to talk to Nelligan again now? Okay, wait. No. Okay. Missing papers. Missing the box. Is that it? Wait. What's this? Stolen value papers. Valuable bond certificates were kept inside the stolen box. Okay. Treat the notebook. Nelligan's motives. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates, this might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. Okay. If I can move, thank you again. Open. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. All right, good, progress. I think. All right, let's talk to him at the break in again. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I... I was trying to find some information about my father. Okay. Um... That one. I assume you had another purpose. To retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These mm -hmm. papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Okay. Uh... Wait, why? Okay, the break-in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Look at papers. Now he comes looking for his father's papers inside Blackbeard's cabin and explains his presence at the scene of the murder. Okay. Now what? Uh, innocence. This might have been a motive. I, I kind of believe it's his motive a little bit. Or, what does this do? Jealousy. Liam Hutley loved Judith Carey so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. Uh, it has been confirmed that Liam Hutley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife and fell in love, but it didn't go beyond the affectionate, in fact, yeah, affectionate, affectionate but harmless letters and words. Okay, so if I that, then that's all. I'm not sure. Um, my eyeball inches like severely. All right. Oh, well, now what the hell do I do? I have no idea what to do. Like, zero. 
Um, this game's not very good at the whole explaining what I am to do. Oh my gosh! Ah! Okay. Um, is there anything else in the evidence? These are the suspect's belongings. No freaking death. Uh... A pen. Nothing unusual about it. Alright, that's all that. Okay. Um... Okay, go to Scotland Yard. Or, I am Scotland Yard. Baker Street. I guess talk to Watson? See what he can tell me? I don't know. The game is not very good at telling me, like... Any indication of what I might never bust your grips with which now you're talking to the in Okay, let me ask Watson about that. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner? Do you believe he's the murderer? I have no idea. My analysis table. My this my archive. I oh, wait, am I back to looking normal? I just realized that. I am. But, uh, can I? It's locked. Damn it. Everything's wrong with my life. Okay, um. What am I supposed to do now? Seriously? Okay. Okay. Breaking attempts for me. Okay, okay, what is this? Draw a picture of the crime by forming your deductions from the combination of clues. Track down the guilty party. So I'm actually supposed to be like drawing something here? Okay. Okay. Okay, so either okay, so he's innocent. Huntley's innocent. I'm guessing. Yeah, Huntley's innocent. Uh, motive. a victim of circumstance. Oh, so now I have to choose. This is proven by his dishonesty and the fact that he was at the scene of the murder. Condemned elegant John Hope has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey. He must be punished by the law for this desperate crime. He's a victim of circumstance. His childhood was overshadowed by the loss of his father. He has always dreamed of a reunion. To find out what had happened, he made a poor decision and so fell into trouble. Let me continue the investigation at least and see what I can find out. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpoon. Okay, let me. I uh, um. Kind of want to go back here. I want to see if I can find anything to change things. I because I don't think it was the harpoon. I don't think it was the harpoon. Because the harpooner, he may hate him. But I don't think he uh, killed him. Let me talk to this this woman who's still crying. Woman, it has been days. Leave me alone, please. Okay. Please, Pat. Tin box. He looked it was there. Right. It seems that the garden was well maintained. It was very well maintained. All right, let me. What's in here? Old navigation instrument. Okay, so that's all that's in there. I'm just doing a double check on things before I, I 
Make a choice on the poor boy. Someone drank. Someone. The tooth of a sperm. All right. Choice. Okay. Honestly, if this has just been a stealing thing, probably wouldn't have done anything. But because he murdered him, I will condemn him. Confirm. It confirmed my choice. Yes. Sorry, kid, but murder is a no no. Unless you mean what you do. I mean, what? I mean, I would never. I would, I would never do that. Never. Alright, continue. I hope I actually the case did this right. is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. Uh, so tell me, who killed Black Peter? Is it just me, or does he look sickly? It was John Nelligan, Inspector. I thought as much, but I failed to see his motive. Revenge, Inspector. Black Peter possessed the bond certificates that had belonged to Nelligan's father, and young Nelligan wished to retrieve them. Well then, I'll arrest this Nelligan. I don't fancy his chances of getting out of prison after this. I will accompany you, Inspector. Also, Holmes, uh, to play the character, you are guilty of Holmes the murder is of not Black Peter. Somebody Confess now, let's and your punishment may away. be more merciful. No, I didn't kill him. Your motive: the valuable securities that Peter Carey stole from your father. Carey refused to return the bond certificates, and then he threatened you. You were afraid, and in your panic, you took the harpoon and made your lucky throw. But that's not true! You're a liar, Mr. Nelligan. It's all over now. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. I feel like I messed up, but I'm not sure. Clues found 16. Inclusion now again is empty. Well, twice. Uh, me. I got it right! Okay, I got it right. I got it right. Hell yes. Okay. Alright, I got it right. I think. Wait. Is red bad? I don't know if red's bad. Okay, accept this. Dude. You're about to finish the case if you... If... The save file for this case it will be removed. Press no. If you'd like to select another moral choice, press yes. If you agree with your whatever. Uh, personality or justice seeker. Okay. Alright. Did I get it right or am I wrong? I'm not. What the hell is that? Finish Black Peter case. Okay. I have no freaking clue if what I just did was right or not. Zero clue. I okay. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. A trip to the countryside, mm. say. Mm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. <laughs> but you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Oh, my, that, that heavy, heavy foot drop. Who is it? Mycroft. Oh, Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes, perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. What? He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We're about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need help. 
Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men, a band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... <gasps> Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do please at least write to me on your return. Nothing about it. All right. Interesting. Okay. I like him. He's interesting. He's a bit different than other Mycrofts I've seen, other interpretations of him. Um, but uh, I kind of like that version, at least. Um, look at me. Look at me! Alright. But uh, since we solved the case, I think, um, I'm guessing, uh, I will... Well, we'll end the video here, and the next video we will go see about the other case. I may expand this series to be like a case per episode, even though that seems to be a bit a, a while of time. But I might be able to pull it off, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I kind of like that idea, or at least like two episodes per case, something like that. I know this one took three, but the previous uh, episode I know the game crashed, so that was kind of an issue. I was having a lot of technical, 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 technical difficulties on that episode, and now I'm having mouth. Uh, technical difficulties uh, this episode so but anyways if you like this video hit that like button check out the channel let's go to the crazy game it was nice having you bye bye